Um, hello everyone. Um, my name is Mr. Ejo, and welcome to Ejo Tech. And um, yes, uh, so today I uh, will be doing a quick tutorial on the Google Classroom. And on the Google Classroom, um, I had some my students over at Good Shepherd Schools having a fairly J1 students are having difficulty in actually um, going to um, the Google Classroom. So I'll be doing uh, the tutorial on that. Okay, and here so to actually have a copy of the Google Classroom you need an app for the students you need an app and to do that you can come over here right and you over the section and you click on this and um, you can search um, uh, the Google Classroom and you probably see an icon like this okay you see an icon like this this is what you need to download an icon like this okay so um, yeah uh, so what you do is um, you install it. So I already I have it. I already have it here installed on uh, my device. So what I do is I can open it here, or I go back and um, and I can see it over here in this section. Okay. So yes. And uh, okay. Um, also, as students, you also you also um, need um, your Gmail. Okay. It's it's important because um, a teacher posting. Um, a question or something on the classroom uh, you 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 can access it directly or get an instant thing by um, an instant of notification on your Gmail okay so what is a Google classroom a Google classroom is a virtual classroom where students can actually join it and learn um, over um, distance or remote um, the remote learning uh, where students can actually learn in their various um, locations or houses and etc okay and so how do we actually assess this? Um, yes, we go over here to the classroom, and um, over here, this is um, I'm here as an educator, but I'll be going in as a student, and it, okay, and so I'm actually signed in now as a student to have um, access to it. So here, over here, I have two classes. Here, you're going to see all your classes. In this section, you're going to see all your classes. In this section, you're going to see all your classes. Uh, you can also come here you can also come here and you can also have a, an archive okay here is um this sec this key feature is very very important this key feature is very very important because it shows you um things to do okay from the word to do it shows you the um assignment and um um qu uh, class works that your teacher have posted and you can actually see it over in this uh, uh, section Okay, so here you can see the ones that have been missed. You can see um, no due date on this um, section. There's actually no due date here, so uh, you can actually skip this. Um, then the one that has due date is the ones um, very, very essential. Like this is due today by um, 5 p.m., so I really have to go do this, okay? And this one is due tomorrow by 11 59 um, p.m. So, um, okay, before that, we're actually going to do that because of time. Uh, before that, um, we're going to come here to the uh, J1 computer and your classroom is going to look like something like this. It's actually going to look like something like this. Here um, you have um, a, a post on the stream um, from your teachers and you can actually comment in this section. Okay, and here you can, um, this is the stream section. Here is um, an info section where you can actually see um, what and what is expected from you and of course from the teacher and the rules and relation from the teacher and of course from the educator and of course the subject okay so it's very, very important that you actually go through this um, info right there this section very very important okay this section is very very important okay so um over here your classwork is where you see all your classwork and your assignments and uh, attendance and everything um that is essential so this is um this is where you need to do all the work Okay, so here there's a classwork here. Uh, you can see your teachers, and of course you can see your classmates. Okay, you can actually see your classmates, and um, uh, yeah, you can actually see your classmates. And of course, you can, um, if you have any issues, okay. All right, so uh, you come in here and you come to your classwork, and it says what is computer now. Um, e over in this section is where you have to answer your questions okay this section is where you have to put in your um, answers and uh, of course so to do this you like a um, computer is an electronic device okay 
and of course you can turn in your work and now be sure that you have actually answered correctly before you click on um, before you actually click on this okay because once you've clicked on this I showed you that you won't be able to make any changes you won't be able to make any change so yeah be sure that you're done with your work before you click on um, submit okay so when your answer will be submitted it has been turned in now like I said something the Gmail is actually very important um, if you don't have the Gmail you can come here over here to your Play Store and you click on your Gmail and it should be something like this okay it should be something like this and you can have access um, uh, to that okay so um so I come over since I have it installed on my device I come over here and click my Gmail and here you're gonna see notifications from um, your teachers now it shows you here um, if we refresh this it shows you here that uh, um, okay um, it shows you that the notification like new question classwork it shows you here new question classwork and it shows you what is computer and from here you can actually open them you can actually open them but you have done them you've done it so um, nothing will be found here okay so um so uh, I go over into the teacher section I go over there so I'm going to toggle into the teacher section um, to actually do that oh sorry um, okay uh, class so that I can actually mark it and um, all oh, my classes is much all right um j1 computer uh, i'm actually an educator in good shepherd schools um j1 computer and yes so here over here i will see the app is, is essential for the students and uh, for educators you actually need to make use of your google chrome for more uh, blissful experience okay so um so over here in the classwork um i can see the students who have actually done have actually turned in the work um uh, I, I think I should use this okay so I can go over here and uh, this is my chrome so go over here and actually and actually um, check it so it shows the uh, it shows me for the kit it shows me the, the student who have actually um, turned in your work so I can actually go through here and um, it says here computer is an electronic device I think, okay I can give the student um, a four or a five of three um, and um, I can write a comment um, you tried you tried keep it up and uh, my favorite icon my favorite emoji all right so all right and um, okay so I can now turn in this work I can actually turn in this work. We turn it to the student. So the work has been returned. So if I come in here, now if you check your mail, you actually get a notification that your work has been graded. You see that? You see that it shows um, graded. Okay. And if I come in here, I can be able to see. Uh, okay, not this. All right, so <laughs> all right, so it shows in here that um, you actually got um, three over five. So um, over here in your classroom, um, you can see this. Uh, your classes. You can go over to the to do section and. Over here in done, you're gonna see your classwork has been marked, has been marked, and this student got um, three over five. Okay, and um, so it's very very essential. Over here is your class folders that takes you directly um, um, to your drive, and then you can see all um, your classes and all the materials um, in your class. This is very important because, for example, a teacher may actually um put in a video on your on your folder under class 
and you can actually access it on your drive okay so it's important for you to have a google drive to get a copy of a google drive uh, you go to the play store you go to the play store and you search for drive and it probably have something like this so this i have even mine i have to update it okay so uh, you see something like this and you probably need to actually um, um, install um, i have a copy of that okay so yes so let go back moving on to our classroom so um but it's quite simple to actually um toggle really and here over here in the settings you can actually put um update your photos i always advise students to always um put in their photos um put in the photos instead of a celebrity photo or uh, maybe cartoon or something just put in your photo because it's unique it helps you to it helps your teacher to know um who's the owner uh, who's to uh, who's the, uh, the student uh, um he or she's actually talking to you know uh, the name is okay but the, the picture actually gives a more clear uh, um, identity of uh, you okay so uh, really um it's not really much um actually very simple to actually assess the google classroom because over here you can here is where you have a section section of your stream a, uh, a, of your stream where you can actually um see all the posts from your teachers and here you can make comments on them and of course um the likes of of that here is your classwork where you can see your classwork section and here are the people where you can see your teachers and of course you can see your class mates okay so um that's really it guys if you have any question um please um you can actually leave a, a comment um below and i'll try as much as possible to do it to on them and um reply all right so thank you so so much um for watching this okay uh, my name is Mr. Ijo and um, another kitchen from Google Shepherd Schools. And you can hit the subscribe button on Ijo Tech and to get more notifications on my new videos. Thank you so much.